Tooth Talk Time with Dr. Wynn Okuda. Here we are at Studio B. And this time we're discussing a question that you get a lot from yeah. your patients, right? right? Is should I change my silver filling? Should I get silver versus the other kind, the tooth color kind? Right. Yeah, you know, the silver fillings, I mean, we call it dental amalgam. Uh, it has been around for ages since the Civil War. Wow. Yeah, I know, really. <laughs> and so, you know, it's still a, a material that's still being used, but, you know, the newer, whiter materials are more high tech. We call it mm -hmm. resin polymers or composite fillings, mm -hmm. and those are a lot more minimal invasive. All right, so we're looking at some of the examples yes. of the silver versus. Now, besides cosmetically, yes. you recommend this for other reasons because. It, you can actually get, um, they can actually start leaking, right? Yes, they start to leak. You know, as silver fillings get older, they start to become corroded. And mm -hmm. when they become corroded, they start chipping, leaking, and then the, you know, the seal of it starts breaking down. People don't realize it because you don't have pain. But the thing is that it, the damage is starting to occur. Under many of these old fillings, you start to have cracks in your teeth, and that's when a lot of big time problems can occur, like root canal treatment and those types of things. So if you can, if you can avoid it, be proactive about it. You know, I have a tip for people. If it's black and no longer silver, mm -hmm. that means it's not good. It's a bad sign. That's a bad sign. <laughs> it's yeah. a bad sign yeah. if it's no longer silver. That's right. Okay, so the alternative is to get these other types, but yeah. well, if you have these, there's a reason you should change it, not just for cosmetic, it's also because gum inflammation? Yes, because you know, silver fillings age, they start to expand. And when they expand, you can't get a floss in between there anymore. Oh. And so your gums start to get inflamed, and then you start to now become a bad domino effect in the in the gum area as well. Okay, and also cause recurrent decay? Yes, yeah, because they start to expand, they start to pull away from the teeth, and then they have leakage in between there, and it's easy for bacteria to just get in and start oh. causing decay around it. And I didn't realize that some people are actually allergic. Right, you know, there's a certain population that are allergic to and you know different types of metals mm -hmm. and you know silver filling has copper tin and mercury in it as well and so that's why some people are hypersensitivity uh, they have hypersensitivities to it and allergies to it so that's some another reason to get it changed so the tooth color colored fillings actually yes. take away less of the healthy tooth when you're drilling, right? Yes, because, you know, we can be so minimal invasive. The high-tech resins now are liquid. We use liquid, and then when we cure it, boom, it's, it's nice and durable. And so because of that, we're able to flow that into crevices so we're not, we're not removing a lot of tooth structure to get those oh, smaller cavities out. I see. Out. Yeah. Do they last as long? They last a long time because of the most, they're very durable. I can't tell you that it's gonna last like, ages, but then as long as you take care of it, you'll be able to maximize the lifespan of that. Yeah, I was surprised to learn that a lot of things in dental care, you have to change them every like 10, 15 years sometimes. Yeah, because you know, the way, especially because we're so hard on our teeth now, in our system. <laughs> grinding, Some of us more than others. <laughs> yeah, so grinding is not a good thing, you know. <laughs> so. All right, Dr. Winokuda, thank yeah. you so much for coming in. Some My good pleasure. tips for you. Speaking of grinding, let's go to Steve. What does that mean? <laughs> hey, uh, Malolo Beverages is hiring.